built the house we live in. And according to my parents, this is the worst it's been in 25 years. Now at five, people are still battling high water in Fort Wayne more than 24 hours after the flooding started. Good evening. Several homes have been deemed uninhabitable after floodwaters filled a Wayndale neighborhood. News Channel 15's Holly Campbell is live in Wayndale with the latest on this tonight. Holly? Heather, people in this neighborhood are no strangers to floods, but they tell me last night's flood was the worst they've seen in years. Generally, we have some storm grates right here. If we clean all the debris off of them, it'll go down. We tried that. Did not work, and you could see the water bubbling up. Flood water started flowing into Amanda Volan's Wayndale neighborhood yesterday morning. By the afternoon, there was water in her garage and sunroom. Got all her furniture up, got all the loose stuff up on the furniture. Last night, city crews built a levee to reinforce the existing levee near Volan's neighborhood. Joshua Bullock says he spent 14 hours putting sandbags around his house. I had to miss work yesterday, so I mean, it's, it's pretty stressful. I mean, when weather gets like this, it cuts into my bills, missing work and everything. People who live in this neighborhood tell me that this water was three feet deep last night. It has since gone down, but they tell me there's still a lot of work ahead of them. Well, pressure washed down like the sunroom and the concrete because it's just concrete floor. And then the garage is just going to have to be going through and throwing stuff away and... You know, picking up, seeing what's still good, what's not. The water damage to the basement and uh, potential for uh, black mold to grow. Some residents say this is the worst flood in years, driving them out of the neighborhood. We are looking for somewhere else. Oh, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. With utilities turned off, Volan's home is considered uninhabitable. And even though the home has been in the family for nearly 60 years, she says moving has crossed her mind. I've thought about it in the moment, you know, how I still feel about it, I don't know. Helen is staying with family until her electricity is turned back on. Live in Wayndale, Holly Campbell, News Channel 15.